So one LEGO theme that never um, seems to disappoint me is LEGO Ninjago and I wanted to do a video today uh, going over the reasons why I think that because I think it would just be a cool video to make and um, I do want to share my opinions by the way I've got my notes on my computer screen so if I keep like looking up there then that's why. So throughout the themes Ninjago has always been unique when it came to minifigures from when they first came out with the Serpentine minifigures to the more recent minifigures uh, such as Kalmar, I think that was his name, or Asphira who was the like um, fire Serpentine girl who uh, hated Wu. <laughs> I think with every um, new uh, like wave of sets or new series, um, the minifigures bring something new and they always have new pieces and stuff like that, which um, I think is probably another reason why um, they're so sought after and why they're collected so much and probably why Ninjago as a theme um, has such value. And then there's also the ninjas, so now uh, the ninjas always have new suits for new themes, it's you know, a recurring thing, and every time um, they, uh, these new suits bring um, something unique, um, which is sort of linked to the theme of that series, so um, for example, um, with series, I want to say 12 or 13, when they were doing the underwater, the ninja had like a scuba themed um, a suit, whereas um, when they were fighting with King Vangelis and stuff, they had like um, armor and more sort of like rustic buff armor, which complements the fact that the series was uh, surrounded with Cole, who was obviously the stronger one of the bunch and the master of Earth. And no matter from how old to how new the suits are, there, I just I still love them. You know, from the 2012, I want to say, or 2011 suits, uh, the original ones. They're quite nostalgic. They're very simple, but like still look good to the um, new suits um, for the I think the series is called Dragon Rising uh, they're, they're quite like powerful and they've also got this sort of like it's not like a mask just for the face it's like for the upper body too so um, I think yeah it just gives off a kind of powerful vibe so something else I want to talk about is um, the um, the sort of powered up versions of the suits so with every Ninjago series they find um, new uh, like powers they didn't know they had or a different type of spin jitsu um and with that comes a a cool like new suit with um you know with glowy elements or their ninja's eyes are bright blue or something subsequently because of this we get cool minifigures which i'm not complaining now from the ed Blech. Now from the Air Jitsu um, suits from I think 2016 when they were fighting Moro, um, was that his name? But to the newer Dragon forms which um, are one of my personal favourites because they just look absolutely awesome, I mean Ninja Dragons, how can you go wrong there? They all have um, colourful printing with new colours and um, new pieces which make the minifigures all that more unique which again sort of links to the um, I think reason probably people collect Ninjago's because the minifigures are also unique and collectible and um, it's probably one of the I want to say USPs but that's not the right word but it's probably one of the unique um, parts of Lego Ninjago and um, every time they do this they all look incredible and um, I think another honourable mention would have been the um, Forbidden Spin Jitsu suits from 2019 when they were fighting Asphira they had like um, flames coming out of their hoods which I mean is sort of difficult to replicate in plastic but they managed to do it well and it looks good so <sighs> this is uh, one of the ooh, this is one of the um, Forbidden Spin Jitsu minifigures so this is J but for some reason his fire is green I don't know this is one of the lacklustered ones I think out of the special form ninja um because you know it's just regular old jay with fire on his head but you know what i mean still looks cool oh and they also came with these spinjitsu things so another thing um that uh i probably i, I like the most about ninjago is the well, i don't know why i'm saying so, so poshly another thing i really like about ninjago are the builds now specifically the temples and the dragons i've never really been a big fan of the vehicles because they get a bit repetitive which i suppose it's difficult to change it up a bit because vehicles are vehicles they're the same you know you've got planes or jets um cars bikes stuff like that and the one exception to this would obviously be the mechs because the mechs every time they look really good um for example uh, i think uh, there was like a nears mech um in not the latest set uh, um, wave of sets but the one before that that was based off like the crystal king so the mechs always look good but i just with the vehicles they always get quite repetitive to me and i'm not the biggest fan 
but yeah, as I was saying, the um, the temples and the um, oh yeah, the temples and the dragons um, are always a highlight for me because each time they make them different. Um, obviously, sometimes they're going to be similar because they're similar because they're dragons, but each time they give them sort of new features that make them unique. So um, for when they went into the Prime Empire, there was obviously robotic dragons, but then you've got you know way back when the first dragons came out, they're very basic, but they look good at the same time. Um, then elemental dragons, and then there was also the dragon from a uh, season. I can't remember what it was, but it was um, uh, uh, a season that was surrounded by coal with King Vangelis and the black skeleton things and just you know most of the time the dragons come out looking really well with you know a few exceptions now a prime example of uh, this would be the uh, temple of the dragon energy core and the elemental dragon versus empress mech sets uh, that are coming out for the new dragons rising seasons these sets look amazing and i either really want to get the temple of the dragon energy core or the destiny's bounty i'm not too fast about the elemental dragons versus empress mech set but that's my thoughts on Lego Ninjago, and those are the reasons why it never seems to disappoint me as a theme. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.